This is a personal favorite. This is a 376 open range by Highland Ridge here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is the RV formerly known as Romer, is the best way I can describe it. It's the same 376 it was before. They've simply cleaned up the nomenclature. Instead of it being the Highland Ridge Open Range Romer 376, it's just the Open Range 376 here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. 12,015 pounds of unbelievably flexible fun. This RV is a personal guilty pleasure of mine, a personal favorite, because it can only become and do anything, everything, whatever. It does everything. Um, the thing that makes it so functional is the front end of this thing, and we'll see it inside, but in short, before we get there, it can be like a, a, a two bedroom. It can be a bunkhouse. It could have a guest room. It could have a man cave or a lady cave. It can only do everything. Up front, we have a very flexible room that can be used for different purposes, including its own half bathroom. So if you have kind of a mother-in-law or father-in-law situation where you have an older adult or sometimes some people go camping with friends regularly and people go halvesies on things. That happens quite a bit, actually. Surprisingly, it happens a lot more than I would expect. This floor plan can comfortably accommodate two families, basically, in one RV. It's awesome. You know, the sofa can become anything. The front end can become anything. But why would you want it? That's what I want to focus on, not just what it can do, but why you would want to purchase the open range here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. What does it do different? What sets it apart that would make it worth purchasing? Those are the things I'm going to try to zero in on. First of all, it starts right up front here with just a sweet looking front end. This is the best looking open range I've ever seen. Frankly, the open range 3X has got a problem on its hands because the open range proper is just looking dynamite. This thing is just looking dynamite. Now, open range RVs don't directly line up head to head with anything else, and that's really one of the other things I like about them. It's an in-betweener. Um, it, it, you know, you're gonna be in that three quarter ton towing range. Obviously a one ton truck will work just fine, but it, it can, it floats in between. Uh, it meets the definition of luxury fifth wheel but it feels more homey, more family class, and not snobbish. I'm not saying people who look at the beautiful Pinnacle RVs and Montana RVs and things like that here at Haylet RV are not, um, are, are not good people, but it doesn't have that hoity-toity feel to it. Now, I also love up front here, pardon the red battery box, but you'll actually, actually see one, two battery setups on this. Now, that's another advantage to purchasing with Haylet RV. Not only are we providing this excellent education for you, here at our family's dealership, but we do not engage in the practice of hidden pricing. So if you'd like to see if we have this in stock and available, all you have to do is click the link in the video description that says check for pricing and availability. And we don't do hidden fees, remember. Now, you may have noticed on the other side a pair of 20 pound propane tanks, which you're thinking, he's trying to call this a luxury fifth wheel and it's only got 20 pound tanks. It has three of them because they're easier to physically manipulate and uh, you can exchange these on a Sunday if you want. It's easier to man manage these things right here. Um, strong arm stabilizer bars. Not only do these make this thing very sturdy on a campsite, but they're here for a very specific purpose. Open ranges are bigger. And I don't mean longer, I mean bigger. This is a wide body RV. It's not a standard eight foot wide, it's 100 inches. And before you gripe at me and say four inches is not a big deal, stupid, well, hear me out. Get in it. Get off the computer, get in it, and feel it. This floor plan just, I mean, you really couldn't pull it off effectively without the extra wide body, like the extra stuff upstairs. Now, on top of that, your main living room slides on an open range are deeper. This is a 42 inch deep slide instead of 36. So they have a wider body, standard. They have a deeper slide, standard. This has a bigger, wider living space than a wide body pinnacle here at Haylet RV. Uh, so it, it's, it's got a very big spacious feel. This is such a good model. It can, it can be a permanent liver. It can be a tower and goer. It is the ultimate in outdoorsman type stuff. If you have a family, you like to go out and you like to go 
hit the rapids or you want to, um, you know, check the local lakes and rivers and things. How about your own industry best kayak storage on here, you know? <laughs> kayak storage, party of two. Take a look at this. Show me another RV that does this. Now, I know that there are some of these newer janky pretend toy haulers with the front living room and that power bed lift in the back. This floor plan is not dissimilar from that in a lot of regards. Where do you think they got the inspiration, my friends? Open Range is that weird mutant trendsetter. They come up with the different concepts that the other brands like to try to, to, to take and, and put into a more mainstream line. This is that original weird wacky left to center guy that just does it different. And that's what I like, they just do it different. Like out here, look at this, we've got fishing pole hangers built right into this. Again, kayak storage. You've got power outlets back here in case you need to run like tools or you wanna put a refrigerator back here, anything you want. They just utilized every square inch of this space they possibly could. There's nothing left to waste. They even include extra doors over here so you can get to every square inch of this easily. You don't have to go crawling through it. Now I passed something over here that's really important to mention, and that is the enclosed private protected docking station. And that leads me to the conversation of seasonality. Open range RVs have the best cold camp proven, tested, published data I've seen of any brand, period, end of sentence, end of story. There is no such thing as a uh, an R52 roof, which appears to be the new high number out there. There's no such thing. An R52 roof would have to be 23 inches thick. No RV has a 23 inch thick roof. But when this RV was pulled into a cold chamber for 24 hours with the slides open, by the way, and temperature tested, after 24 hours, they found it maintained 62 degrees in the underbelly. There is no RV on the market that has maintained better underbelly temp. The next closest I've ever heard of is Jayco with 58 degrees. And that is, that's very good and impressive. And this is still better than that. But they don't have that, you know, published R52 roof because there's no such thing. They just have effective construction. Speaking of which, these things hold together well because they're using smarter, better materials here and there. Instead of corner plastic screw trim, which there's nothing wrong with it. They're using aluminum formed aluminum screw trim because it will hold its shape. Plastic screw trim will degrade when exposed to heat and light and sun. This won't. UV light won't destroy this. Now the roof on this critter is different. This has a PVC roof skin. It's a pliable PVC. It's not like a hard shell PVC. That I know that's what it sounds like. It's It's been made pliable but it does not require any specific maintenance. Now I can't really show you that here and I can't really climb on the ladder with only one hand. I tried once and I nearly killed myself. I won't do that again. But my point is the roof material itself requires no maintenance. Now you still have seals. You are always required for taking care of your seals, just like you need to take care of the brake shoes on your car, or pads or rotors or whatever. There's normal things like that you still need to maintain. There's no such thing as a maintenance free roof. I've heard people come and say, I want a camper with maintenance free roof. Oh man, you have been talking to a snake oil salesman and I am not one of them. I can't get enough of that storage. Now look at this. Just the intelligent thought and design, the different way of thinking on an open range. Instead of doors that open up like this so that you have to duck on them, under them rather, they flip down, they get out of the way. They let you get to that storage. And when you're done with it, well, flip it and forget it, my friends, because they've got the nicer slam latches going on here. Of course, I have to actually give it a little more oomph because they are slam latches, not compressions. You know what? You normally have to go to a much bigger, expensive, expensiver, more expensive fifth wheel to get the bigger 16 inch radials that you're seeing here, the bigger tires that come on this thing. That's stuff that other brands don't usually do at this point. This ridiculous, huge Equiflex suspension to shock dampen everything to give you a better ride. That's this kind of stuff you get here. Um, let's step inside for you. Oh, look Look at this, a protected awning skin. I, I forgot to talk about that previously. You see that shininess on the end of this right here. Well, that's the, uh, there's a, a, a wrap basically that it, when you roll the awning up, it wraps, pr compresses, and protects that awning. It's not impossible for water to get down that tube. It is very difficult, but it also keeps the sun and everything off it. Battery swap, meet you inside. And here is where you benefit from that extra wide body and the extra deep slide outs. You have a massive living space. It's not a long living room. It's a wide living room, but you still get that big 
expansive square foot of space in here. We've got the nice ceiling fan to get some good airflow going on. I love that ceiling fixture. The little radius touch to it reminds me of like an artist's palette or something. It's just, this thing is sharp. We've got whisper, you know, while we're looking up here, we're, we've got whisper quiet air conditioning. Depending on who you talk to, it's between 70 to 90% quieter. The low number is 70%. It really does make a difference. Um, over here, now, there is this refrigerator is optional. There's some optional things in this RV. There's different interior decors available. I can't remember what this is called. Hazelnut comes to mind. It's not black, by the way. It's just a very deep brown, but the camera's going to filter it out and make it look black. Um, my point here is... The 376 open range here in this video at Haywood RV is not necessarily the 376 uh, open range here at Haywood RV. This is just one of them that we have had. You can equip these a lot of different ways. Now, people, uh, we've done videos uh, discussing the benefits both ways on gas electric refrigerators versus uh, electric only. We opt for the big electric only residential fridge in this because we see it being capable of housing a lot of people and we see the benefit of that extra storage here also the standard fridge in this is only eight cubic foot you like virtually triple your cold storage by going to this this is a floor plan that truly benefits from going to the big residential refrigerator you get uh you get a lot more than you give in that regard so it's a good push pull uh you know you've got your hd tv bluetooth dvd stereo fireplace below that's an electric space heater that we call a fireplace every rv has that i'm not going to waste time talking about that i want to talk about the really cool unique different points in this rv so we've got these like what, at least six and a half foot if not seven foot tall slide here i mean it's funny because when you look at this rv from the outside it almost looks flat down the wall it's because the whole thing is tall all the way through a lot of fifth wheels they get tall this one just is tall all the way through that's part of where some of the weight comes from it's just physically bigger um now right here we've got what is like the toy hauler party couch but this does more things this sofa thing can only do everything so right now what i've got like one of the things i hear people say is yeah but you know i kind of like to have a sofa and a dinette set up you mean like this? You can create a sofa dinette setup. There's a second table you can put over here to actually have more seating space for family and friends to sit down and chill and have a good time. The uh, sofas can be, re or the tables can be removed to create just a giant party couch for entertaining friends on a rainy day. Here's another thing I like. It's a 42 inch extra deep slide booth dinette sofa thing and it doesn't stick out of the slide out because we have a 42 inch deep slide. The one matches the other. Now, both ends of this have these huge easy access slide open drawers, which make just the perfect place for storage or to keep those tabletops. Um, now, when we look around, here's something else you don't see. Car carpeting, you don't see it. This is a floor flush carpetless slide out industry exclusive thing here guys other brands are trying to figure out how to do this they can't do it the way open range did because open range has a patent on it so they're trying to figure out weird janky ways of accomplishing it you know open range again the trendsetter in this regard they're getting rid of the carpeting um especially where you're gonna have food it's the best place to not have carpet where you're gonna have food now the slide's extra tall which means we have plenty of room for windows with plenty of storage above you don't have to choose one or the other and look at the ridiculous number of layers six lights eight eight oh my gosh eight lights just in the slide out it lights up like a christmas tree in here or you can shut them all down and you know darken it to your preference so we've got a wall controller for the max air ceiling vent fan up here and uh what's great about that is you don't have to be 10 feet tall to reach it. And if you're cooking up a storm in this big residential size microwave, your flush mount stove, whatever, that heat can get exhausted or just open some windows and enjoy a six mile an hour breeze the whole time, which is enough to put out candles on a birthday cake. It's a powerful thing. It's not just a fan. It's a, it's a I don't know, <laughs> controllable tornado, if you will. Um, countertops here in the open range. Kitchen counters are all Corian salad surface. So not just solid surface, Corian solid surface. Now, the slide out is extra deep. So they actually, the slide will go just under that little toe kick right there. But what that also creates is the perfect place to just belly up to the bar. And they could put a bigger countertop in here because you have more living space. So now we have more prep space and there are plugs here. So we can run appliances off this thing. 
We will finish up the kitchen on the uh, pass through the other direction. Let's move upstairs here. There's little motion sensitive hallway lighting on these, which is pretty slick. Plus you got your own little individual light. And we do have the nicer like diesel pusher MCD roller shades. And they are the actual MCD brand. This, these are the literal type of shades that go into diesel pushers. Um, upstairs here. Uh, this is a very unique bathroom. You look at this thing and it's it's got an odd look. It's a dual entry. You can get to the from the hallway, you can get to it from the um master bedroom here, but here's the thing guys. This is really like mom and dad's master bathroom because there's an extra half bath upstairs on the other end of the RV for the children and the unwashed masses. You know, this is your private space. Now, here's the other really interesting thing. The first time I looked at this, I went, "Huh, it looks like a laundry room. And then I opened this up and I went, oh, that's because it's washer dryer ready with a big cabinet above. Now, if you want to sacrifice that cabinet and peel out this countertop, you can put a stackable in here if you're so inclined. That's why they put the bigger power outlets in this thing. But otherwise, you could put a combo down here. I'm not a big fan of washer dryers, by the way. Um, I, I, I know that this is prep for it. It's my job to talk about it, to let you make a decision. I don't like them. Happy to explain why if you give us a call anytime. But now we've got a big closet or a cabinet up here for, you know, towels, beach towels, clothes, any anything like that. And by the way, all your hidden hinge cabinetry, everything in this has a very sleek, clean look. And as we flip around here, oops, I'm getting hung up on stuff. There we go. Big bathroom. Again, wide body also means bigger bathroom. So we've got plenty of floor space in here, plenty of headroom, even upstairs. This is a stand-in uh, shower without your head, you know, grinding against the ceiling and the radius shower door that opens from the middle. It splits open so you don't have to walk backwards to get uh, in or out of the shower. You don't have to open a swinging door and walk around it. And I just flipped the case off my Apple Watch, but whatever, that's not going anywhere. Um, the bedroom up here, this is a true queen, 60 by 80 true queen bed. Uh, so you can swap this out for anything that you want. Um, of course, I could be looking at the camera and realize I'm giving you just the worst camera work ever here. Here we go. So, full, comfortable walk-in height bedroom. Case in point, I'm 6'3". And here's the other thing. Check out the, I can walk, just walk beside the bed. I don't have to do the travel, tra travel trailer shuffle. I cannot talk. It's the end of the day. It's been busy. It was raining earlier. I'm tired. Whatever. We've put a second air conditioner in this one. You can see it right there. That is uh, not necessarily how... Every one of these is going to be equipped. Remember, here at Halo RV, we sell a lot of different RVs, and there are times where we run out, and we call the factory and say, I don't care what you have. I don't care how it's built. I need inventory. And if uh, the one we have in stock does not have a second air conditioner, or you want roof vent covers, or a satellite dish, or whatever, we only do everything at Halo RV, including uh, hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, and everything in between. We only do everything at Haylet RV. No one is too far away to work with Haylet RV. Every room, by the way, has a, a main cabin light switch, whether it's bathrooms, bedrooms, because there are several, uh, main living area. And I love the extra dresser right in this slide-up. This is all that long-term storage you're going to want. And someone, is, someone said, why didn't they just put the bed in a slide? Understand how much cargo you can put in this. The coach itself weighs 12,015 pounds. That's not necessarily lightweight but understand how much more weight you could pack into this thing if you're not paying attention. You know, you have to be careful and, and consider that kind of thing. That's why if you're not sure what your truck can handle, you give us a call at Halo RV because we also handle towing vehicles. We do tow specialized vehicles here. You know, big three quarter tons, one tons, dualies, whatever. We keep those things on hand as well for package deals for those who need it. So give you a quick look the other direction. Um, I, I want to point out, you know, this is where I want to finish up the kitchen at this point. So we talked about, we looked at the other side of this island, but you see all the drawers and everything, just all the storage in here. Here's my favorite one. It looks like a normal door, but it's a dedicated wastebasket storage area. Now on the other side here, next to your cook station, you've got a pull-out perfect pantry. I love storage that comes to me. I like it when I don't have to get on my hands and knees and dig shoulder deep through a toothpick pantry to try to get to something. This storage comes to you. It's better, smarter, easier. Again, uh, flush mount stove and sink. Uh, you know, recessed stainless sink behind me. Uh, with what I like is I got the nice little vegetable drying rack, or drying vegetable. 
you get what I mean. I'm not even going to try to correct myself on that. Moving on. Man, it, I need to wrap this up. I'm just, I'm just screwing it up left and right, aren't I? But beautiful stainless appliance bundle right when you walk in the door. Just storage ever. Nice little shoe garage down there. We can sleep a bunch of people in this, remember? You got to have a place to put everybody's shoes, don't you? And big overhead cabinet. Big tall ceiling means big cabinet space. Isn't that just great? Um, air conditioning is racetrack ducted. Let's go back to AC. Not only is it quiet, it actually bends and loops down on the end. You get cyclical airflow, which is actually also exactly how they get their better cold camp rating because you have cyclical airflow even in the underbelly. Most RVs, they, you only pressurize the underbelly area of a, of a fifth wheel, uh, of any fifth wheel or trailer or whatever if they have an enclosed heated belly. What I want you to do at home is I want you to go take a water bottle and crush it. Crush it right down and put your mouth on the uh, the part where you drink and blow hot air into it. It will warm up in your hand. It will inflate. But the problem is once you hit the point where it reaches its max capacity, you can't blow more air into it. And it'll still stay warm, but not as warm as when the air was first getting pumped in because it can't flow. Open range RVs have a cyclical uh, heat flow system. The heat in the underbelly actually comes back up to heat the, uh, the bathroom floor. So at night you have a nice toasty bathroom floor for your naked piggies. How about that? Look at the detail stuff. Just a little door bouncer so that we don't bash up the wall. Smart, simple details. And this is an extra wide door. And I love that frosted glass insert. If someone is sleeping up here, they maintain full privacy, but there's still light exchange. Isn't that nice? Um, stepping up here, once again, every room, bang, has its own light switch. And I've, I've done a split setup on this for video purposes. There are dual opposing hide beds they will be about four to six inches between them when they're both open. They can both be open simultaneously. But again, you can use this as a front living room. You can use this as a guest room, a craft room, uh, a game day sports cave when it's race time or your football team is on TV or whatever. It can also just be a really cool hangout place. This could just be Dave's fun fifth wheel where your friends come to visit, you know? This thing is just absolutely sweet. But that's what I like about this. It's a multi-zone RV that can become different things. You could have entertainment going on up here. You could have entertainment going on back there. There's just there's just no end to what it really could do. Now there's even storage behind the TV. They utilized every square inch of that nose cap. They wasted nothing. And it's this kind of innovation that makes me really appreciate the open range RVs here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. I, I mean, where else do you get this? You've got these symmetrical, dual, big closets. I mean, frankly, there's a ridiculous amount of closet space because that's one thing I hear people say in the bedroom. I wish you had more hanging space. Well, look at all you get up here. It's doubled. Plus, you have extra drawer space and a little mini, well, not even mini fridge, but a, 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 an extra refrigerator upstairs, in addition to the behemoth refrigerator that's already in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, it can only do everything. Nice little phone charge station, you know. My grandfather would call this his Baptist medicine cabinet. Some of you are going to know what I mean by that. And just to give you scope and scale, the, the two cushions off the back of these right here, I stuffed those up in that cabinet just to show you how big it is. And, and look at this. You can have the drawers open, even when the hide bed is open. Uh, you can get to everything in here. There is no downside to this. There's just no downside to it. Um, I'm missing some... Oh my gosh, the half bath. How? Oh my gosh. Okay. So... We've got a dedicated half bath built right in here. How cool is this? So if you are using this for sleeping at night, kids need a potty break. Guess what they don't have to do? Bug mom and dad. And at night, if you're needing a potty break, guess what you don't have to do? Bug the kids or guests because everybody gets their own little slice of heaven. Kids have a place they can brush their teeth. Kids have a place they can use the bathroom. They can wash their hands. Uh, I mean, bottles of water, everything. They can, you can, on a rainy day, you can walk up here. Tell the kids to go to their room. You can close the door and you can enjoy peace. <laughs> you have a sanity room. Mom and dad, aunts and uncles, grandpas and grandmas, boys and girls, children of all ages. It only does everything. And I guess we only do everything at Halet RV. Maybe that's why we do so well with this one. Maybe that's why it's so popular here at our dealership. Because it's a very flexible floor plan, and we're really flexible people. We make things happen. We make camping fun and easy. You can do it all in one place. 
that's you know the whole point is to make camping fun I, I i'd like to think we've accomplished that so with that i welcome you folks give our guys a call i don't think you're going to regret it and our success shows you won't <laughs> you know we are by far and away the largest service center anywhere around here and for many years we were literally the only service center anywhere around here and basically we still are because I don't really consider a barn built in a field a service center. But hey, to each their own. I'm not throwing darts, but I am. <laughs> anyway, with that, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet camping, everyone. <laughs>